The man who God used to provide inspiration to my own sons when they did it. Because in our travels, in our difficulties, each of the IDP camps we don't want to set, each of the communities we don't want to set, all by our sons who were displaced came out singing and dancing to express joy. That to tell you. That is to tell you that God is with us. May I at this point most respectfully bring on stage to present thanks to the address our leader, the miracle governor of Paris, the distinguished senator, Dr. Yeju. Please, a round of applause for him as he comes on stage to talk to you.
Donc, His Excellency, Sénéton, Henry, Sénateur, Dixie. À la tête, Even as that, I would not like to leave out my very supportive, resourceful, workaholic deputy governor, His Excellency Senator Marian Terijako. And even the past deputy governor who now is chairman and coordinator of the Elder Forum. Very senior government officials yeah, from the legislature, Mr. Speaker, the deputy, my lord, the chief judge here, the representative, and the president of the customary court of appeal, and all members of the state assembly, all the deputy council members, and other top government functionaries. Let me particularly recognize our uh, father, our uh, leader of the great tsunami in Abuja. Please just clap up and support the nature and his wife. The great man, the great man. And all my spiritual leaders, I recognize you. Anwar! 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 I'll be very brief. A lot of people will be opinion, but we are going to flood. Why do we have to do time series? Even though it is by law. Can't you say something to the state assembly and set this year aside? I'm happy the preacher has answered those questions and those who held that opinion. And we decided to make this year a local one for all our people. However, calling on our leaders in Abuja to join us. After writing letters, I picked my phone to call the former president. And he told me he was to leave on Tuesday, that was yesterday. He was here and he was to leave on Tuesday. And now that you have called to thank God and be with you, let us clap for him. In the same vein, I called my leader, who was still in Abuja, by the way. I knew we had written letters, but I needed to follow it up with calls to confirm. And when I called him, he said, Governor, I will be there. I will come and support you and support our people. Let us clap for him, please. <laughs> now that is the spirit. We are too few in this state, too few to have issues. We have heard the man of God, everything he spoke to. He was speaking to all of us, to all of us. And so on behalf of the state, I'd like to thank you, former president, the former governor, for still having your people at heart. It is not about the governor and the government, it is about our people. If the government here fails, we have failed as a people. If the government succeeds, we have all succeeded. No matter how I may place, no matter how lowly place. And so I thank you for that. And this is the spirit, and this spirit will continue to lead us and make us greater in Jesus' name. 
As I traverse the flooded state of Bayelsa, there was one thing that was very instructive. And all of us, from the deputy governor to the rest of the team that went with me, saw it. But each of the communities, by the way, people are asking why did you come? They say, oh, there are four or five. Let me correct answer. Every community in my answer is an IDP camp. Every community in my answer is an IDP camp. Yes, in the capital we are, we are working from areas designated as IDP camp. But every community is an IDP camp. And each of these communities we visited, the joy, the happiness, the hope that was given to them by virtue of our visit. And that's why you may not understand why we are so happy that two of you are here with us to celebrate this day. That you are signed into law and the law will continue and continue in this day forever in Jesus' name. The Bible itself tells us in all things, in all things, the Bible says of this, in all things, we should do what we And so for those who don't understand, having a chance to be during this period of distress is the sure way to call for the blessings of God. And today, I'm so happy, so happy, not only that our two leaders are here, but the great women of Bayelsa, please clap for yourself. Powerful women of Bayelsa. Powerful women of Bayelsa. Again, you are here in your numbers. And our youth, you are here in your numbers. This is not a campaign program. This is a top program. And you are here in your number to give thanks. Again, clap for yourself. As I keep talking to our people when we visited, that flood is not partisan. Flood has no color of Labour Party, BDP, or ABC. When the flood came, it didn't differentiate between who was the PC, PDP, or Labour Party. And that's why, as a people, God has brought us here and located us here. For no matter our political coloration, we must have love for one another, forgiveness for one another. And we will continue to move on as one says. As the flood came, we are below the sea level. And every water empty itself into my house. In fact, my friend Shesha Kagalogu from the River State describes my house as the whole piece of my dear. As we celebrate today, I'd like to close with this. That is this king who has his own servants. They went hunting with the servants protecting the king. And wild beasts attacked them. The servants tried his best to protect the king and with little injuries they returned home. They got home, they treated the injuries. But in the process, the king's finger was cut off. 
So the king got angry and asked that the servants be arrested and detained. And the simple reason for that was that the servant said, God was blessed to us. So he, the king, so with my finger cut off, you are telling me God was merciful to us? Arrest him and detain him. The servant was detained. The king this time around wanted to go alone. And he went again to the bush this time alone. Yeah, again, the same people came out. And this time arrested him. Nobody could protect him this time. He went with them and he was to be given for sacrifice. Of course, the sacrifice taker wants a complete person, not even with the finger off. Now, when they discovered that one of the fingers was, was cut off, they said this is not suitable for sacrifice. So they released him. As soon as he returned home, he shouted at everybody, Release my servant. And the servant was released. And he said, Look, now I agree with you. That is the mercy of God. In fact, this is what has happened. God that he has shown us his mercy. So the servant said, well, now that you have agreed, don't believe the angry that you have accepted me. God made it so, so that I will not follow you that day. If I had followed you, my fingers are all complete. I would have been in sacrifice. Thank you. May God continue to bless by ever May God continue to bless the federal government of Nigeria.